this is Bad Gamer Cat. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We are on day ten. It is seven forty-five in the morning, and I have spent since daylight collecting trees and rocks. So so far, we only have sixty-two rocks, but that's because I just made fifty arrows because we are running short on arrows, and we have four hundred and seventy-seven wood. So we still need more. We've gathered twenty-four more raw iron. Look at we have seven pine seeds to still um, plant, and I would like to get a few more trees. I've also been gathering some more chrysanthemums and goldenrod. So we're just going to take down a few more trees and a few more stones, and then I want to go back and finish looting that building we were starting on yesterday. Um, that's across the street from our house. So I'll come back when I'm finished with this tree. Okay. So now we have 532 wood, and I am going to replant these trees. We have four oak, and we have seven pine to plant. Okay, so... We only have three golden red, but we have 23 chrysanthemum. So we're going to head home. Ooh, 22 bird feathers. That's awesome. cool if we could push these around, although they make a lot of noise, whereas they do in real life. So I just want to, um, we killed three zombies while we were out. One zombie in the night started banging on this, and before I could kill her, she broke through this block. So we have to fix that. I have, um, some flagstone upstairs. They've been banging on the corners. We really need more cobblestone, and to do that, we need more stone. Stone takes forever to mine. <laughs> so I think maybe our next, um, our next point might have to go into mother load so that we get more stuff back when we're mining. And I did some organizing. I, um, I put mining stuff in this chest, and I made the, uh, like stone blocks. I'm just gonna quickly um, put some stuff away. And I want to try to fix the wrench. I wanted to see if we could fix the wrench with forged iron, but we can't. I think we might have to make a repair kit to fix that. But I wonder can we fix the iron pickaxe with forged iron? Yes, we can. Oh, that's awesome. So we'll carry that with us. And we need to get more meat. We have 12 bacon and eggs, and that's it. Then we just have one more piece of meat, and you need five pieces of meat. Um, we did get some meat from killing that wolf in the last episode, which was good. We have one more egg. We don't need to carry the doors and the ladders around, I guess. And oh, can I fix the compound bow? No, I can't. So I think I'm going to take it out and just make a normal bow. Because I don't want to be out and about without a bow. And that's about to die. Before we head out across the street, I um, just wanted to quickly show what I did downstairs during the night. So let's head down here. So I took out most of the flooring and I just left some along the corners. Now, 
unfortunately we can't upgrade that, but what I eventually want to do is double up a lot of the walls, at least in the corners, to provide more support. I'm going to have to take out this light, unfortunately. I hate to take it out, because it's a nice source of light. Well, maybe we'll just upgrade to there. Yeah. I don't want to cut out the lights. Well, technically, the most important layers to upgrade are the, uh, the first two, because the zombies beat up... They beat out this layer first. This layer right here. We don't have any cobblestone to fix that. But that's the layer that we beat out. And then they seem to beat out the, the layer down here. So I think these two layers are the most important to upgrade. But I want to start with the corners. And I want to upgrade this. I was going to take all the wood out and just replace it with flagstone, but we don't have a lot of flagstone. So eventually I want to go around and at least replace the next these two levels with flagstone and then upgrade that flagstone to um, the cobblestone right here, but we don't have enough cobblestone. So when I went in here and I took out all the floors too, same in the bathroom. And I did that because the zombies can reach the ceiling from the regular floor. And I didn't want them breaking in and then banging on the ceiling and getting in the way. So we're kind of hungry and thirsty from all of the, uh, all of the user scattering. When I'm not looking, I hate that. So, I am losing my voice again and I'm getting a sore throat again. I was feeling better, I'm not coughing as much, but now it feels like the whole thing is starting over. And oh, check out our forest. We planted all of these trees, you guys. Isn't that crazy? Look at all the trees we planted. We planted all the trees on that hill. And all the trees that you see here. So do the zombies respawn if we don't clear a point of interest out totally? How does that work? Now, are they all going to be in here? Is that wolf going to be back in here? That would suck big time. I thought that was one of those gas things, but it's not. Are they all back in here? Not so far. Oh, but someone's been in here because I put some frames here and they're gone. Should we come this way? Instead of going upstairs, or should we finish the upstairs? And Oh look, there's something in the wall here hidden. I can almost reach it. <coughs> nothing! Oh. Why would they hide something and then there's nothing in it? That sucks. Oh, 
I got some money. <coughs> Nitrates. <coughs> Food. Are these those zombie closets? Because I've seen zombies burst out of closets and it, it sucks. Okay, that door is locked. Maybe all the zombies already came out of here? Looks like we're supposed to go down here. I don't want to go down there, man. I do want this stuff. This is nice. I was hoping it was cobblestone rock. Cobblestone rock is in the blue. There's going to be 7 million zombies down there, and if we go down there, how are we going to get back up? Look, let's see what else is on the main floor. Okay, that door's locked. Alright, so now let's go upstairs. So if they haven't respawned, and there's nothing in here, right? Should I use the shovel on this? We wouldn't use a shovel on a box, though, right? No. Like every time I break these, there's absolutely nothing in them. See? Nothing. And that shadow just scared the heck out of me. Last time we came in here, a million cowboys fell out of the ceiling. Hopefully they're all gone. Cobblestone. I want that. This stuff is gold. It takes forever to break down and then get clay to make cobblestone. Hoping all the guys are not in here, like that they chased us out already. I guess I planted this tree too close to this house. Just testing the floor to see if we're going to fall through. Let's just quickly check out over here and make sure there's nothing here. There could be stuff up there that might fall through. Oh. Well. Let's get this. This is awesome. I'm so happy they put this in the game. Should I be jumping up this? Is this like a staircase? <laughs> Nothing up there, though. I thought maybe there was something on that top shelf. Oh, 
Oh, there's a red spice bag in the corner. Level 2 iron club, but that's alright. I won't say no to the free iron. Okay, that was good. That was really good. Oh, there's more. How do I get that one? Should we just run for the airdrop? Oh, here it is. Of course, I'm hitting the cap lock again. Let's just mark that. No, I can't remember where we were standing where we were reaching this. I hear zombies. Do you hear zombies? Where are they? There's one. I hear more zombies. I have a feeling they're gonna fall out of the ceiling, you know? Oh, what do we do? You know, you know what, if we die, we die. We just respawn, right? Yeah, they're going to fall through the ceiling and kill us, aren't they? We can pick up all these chairs. We need to find another wrench, big time. Can't see if there's anything up there. I 
guess we should take these couches. Leather. Can't say no to leather. Sometimes there's things hiding behind these pictures. What's this? Plastic. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. We need plastic to our tires, I think, right? For a bicycle? You guys, you have no idea how scared I am right now. Oh my god, that made so much noise. Let's take this leather. Those other chairs are easier to break down. Those other couches. The breaking stuff scared me, oh my god. I am so out. And there's more over here, but I don't know if I can reach it. Oh well. Thing in there and we already checked that yeah we already checked that all right I guess let's head downstairs but I feel like we should be checking up and through the roof here too yeah there's stuff up there how do you get up there <laughs> maybe just with my frames Where's the zombie? Oh, holy crap, there's like a whole pile of them. All right.
got an infection? How many zombies were up there? Look at them all! Oh my god, that's so funny! What were they all doing? building or is that a wandering horde?
sisters, triplets. <laughs> of my arrows. Did they already despawn? I hate that if that's true. Because I just like used 115 arrows on these guys. There should be a way to get them back. the way we came and see if we have arrows anywhere. We, we hit this building. We walked into this building, right? No, all the arrows are despawned already. 
Well, that sucks. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Look at our horde base from the other night. This is where we spend horde night, and I felt so secure because this giant fence went all the way around it, and there was a tower in here. <laughs> and this is all that's left, you guys. I think we need to go drop off a bunch of stuff. in there but it's already getting late and we've been playing for a very long time so you guys i think i'm going to end it here i hope you enjoyed that i'm sorry we're still not finished leading this we still have a long way to go it's just taking me forever hopefully we'll get through it maybe in the next episode take care i hope you enjoyed it if you did like that hit that like and subscribe button thank you and